Hey everyone, since they came out with the March Behind the Scenes today, I thought I'd do a little overview of it and then talk about what I thought. A few of the updates don't have any actual impact on the game, they'll just change the graphics. They're going to be reworking a bunch of player armors and gears, so that should be interesting. Um, they add some pictures on the screen here as well as in the description. They're going to be reworking pretty much everything you can think of, it seems like, including high level gear like Torva and Bandos and that'll come along with that armadillo and dragon uh, with those teaser pictures that we've seen. Um, they're also going to be reworking the gnome areas, so that should be cool. Uh, there's another picture of those on the screen and it looks very nice. That should be pretty cool. Uh, and then there are, are definitely some useful rewards. The first, which isn't actually so useful, is upgrading the experience you get from clan citadels. and. I mean, I guess that's alright, but it's a little late because most clans that are still working on their citadels have already maxed out at this point. Um, so they could have done it earlier, uh, but I guess better late than never. And I don't know, it could be good experience. I wouldn't get my hopes up too much, but it could be alright. It probably won't be worth doing. Uh, they're also doing another bonus experience weekend. Nothing really to say about that except that it starts on the 16th. So. Yay, another experience weekend. Um, and yeah, that didn't sound all that enthusiastic, but uh, yeah, it wasn't actually. They're also coming out with a fourth batch of loyalty rewards, which will have some more auras, and um, they're going to upgrade some of the emotes, so like Raffle will become Raffle Copter uh, if you buy the upgrade to it. And they're also adding some, some of the new auras that they're adding will make uh, your special attack recovery speed up. They're also making costumes that will let you dress up like a werewolf or an elf. Uh, so just cosmetic stuff and then the auras as well. They're also coming out with a a new type of bolt which will be the most powerful type yet and it'll do, it'll do extra damage or it'll have some extra effect on, ma um, on mages. So that should be pretty nice. Uh, Mage is a little bit overpowered compared to range at the moment because you can just use Storm of Armadale and hit right through whatever Mage defense gear they're using, which isn't really fair. So hopefully this will help balance it out. It also ought to be interesting how um, the the new bolts are going to be made from a bloodwood tree, which is found in the wilderness and other areas where there has been a lot of bloodshed. So that should be interesting to see if it might even be a profitable thing for woodcutters because Lumberjacks don't really make much money off of magic logs anymore. So yeah, that should be interesting. And then finally, well actually not finally, there are two things left, lots of updates. Um, they're coming out with a new transportation system which will use gate stones that you can activate to travel to different cities and towns. Um, so you have to discover the gate stone and unlock it before you can start using it. I think that's pretty cool. I, I don't know, I think being able to travel around faster is always nice. Um, so that's good. And then they're coming out with the Mauritania task uh, diary thing. So yeah, the rewards that they mentioned for that in the in the um, behind the scenes didn't look all that great. They mentioned having your prayer drain while in Barrows, increasing uh, temple trekking rewards and more mushrooms from patches, but I'm sure they'll add some stuff that's actually useful. At least I hope they do anyway. But yeah, lots of updates this month. I think the behind the scenes has eight different categories, which I'm not sure if it's the most they've ever had, but it's definitely up there. So yeah, definitely lots to look forward to this month, and I look forward to making more videos about the updates. Thanks for watching.